Hello, I'm Pete Martin and welcome to Mando Tips. Thanks for watching. This episode looks at developing a controlled tremolo. If you do not know how to do tremolo technique comfortably, watch the Mando Tips video, Tremolo Techniques. After you can do those techniques, then come back and watch this video. Now that you've learned the techniques of the tremolo, we're going to learn how to develop a controlled tremolo. To do this, we need a metronome. So take your metronome and find a speed where you can comfortably play two notes per beat, down up on each beat. I'm going to start with my metronome at 100 beats per minute. So you can set yours there if you uh, can't find a different speed, if you can't find one on your own. So I'm going to count to two for each click. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to use my tremolo technique and I'm going to play two notes per beat. I'm just going to keep alternating my picks starting down. One, two, one, two, one, two, go. Okay, now I'm going to turn my metronome up one click on my metronome or five beats a minute if you have a digital metronome and do it again. One, two, one, two. Turn it up one more time. One click or five beats a minute. One, two, one, two. Now I want you to keep doing this, turning it up one click on your metronome or five beats a minute until you either can't play any faster or you max your metronome out. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now the second thing we're going to do is select a speed, select a tempo where we can play three notes per beat. I'm going to set my metronome at 80, 8, 0. And now I'll count to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to keep alternating my pick down and up, three notes per beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Always use your tremolo technique as you do this. So what we're going to do as we did before, turn it up one notch at a time or five beats a minute on a digital metronome until we either can't play any faster ourselves or we max out the metronome. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The next thing is we're going to play four notes per beat. So I'm going to turn my metronome to 60, 60, and I'm going to count four for each click. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Always using your, metro your uh, tremolo technique. Once again, turn up the metronome once not one notch at a time or five beats per minute. And as this gets faster, it'll definitely start to sound like a tremolo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The last thing we're going to do is play six notes per beat. I'm going to turn my metronome to 40. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So do the same thing as you've done before. Turn it up one notch at a time or five beats a minute on a digital metronome. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 
And as this one gets faster, it definitely sounds more like a, a tremolo. Now, if you want to, you can repeat this process using eight notes per beat, 10 notes per beat, 12 notes per beat, etc. I think it's a good idea to stick with an even number of notes per beat, except for three, actually. Three, when the tempo goes real fast, is a very common tremolo, three notes per beat. If you follow this learning process like I've just outlined, you will eventually develop a very controlled tremolo at any tempo where you can put in where you can uh, play any number of notes per beat that you want. When you get comfortable doing all the exercises outlined in this video, watch the Mando Tips video, Banks of the Ohio, using tremolo. Check out my website, petamarpress.com, for free PDF instruction books of bluegrass, fiddle tunes, and jazz for mandolin and fiddle. Also, private lessons in Seattle and Issaquah, Washington, and Skype lessons to anywhere. Thanks for watching. I'm Pete Martin, and until next time, happy pickin'.